welcome, welcome ladies and gentlemen to my little session today. Before I begin with my speech, first of all, imagine that you are all educators. You are all teaching either polytechnic or vocational colleges students. Put yourself in that position. Imagine that you are entering classes day in, day out, each semester, year after year, using the same methods again and again. My title today is Design Thinking. Are you stuck in a frozen time zone teaching your students the same thing, the same way, each and every semester with no hope of doing it any differently? Have you ever intended to teach your students to tell them about all your experience out in the field, but you couldn't recall the exact details and you couldn't make them imagine what you are trying to say? You finally end up with the traditional chalk and talk methods with some images and clippings from your standard handbook. Have you been so anxious to tell your students stories, but you have no way of verifying them, making them know all the point, all the morals of the stories that you wanted to say? Members of the floor, is traditional thinking holding you back? I repeat, is traditional thinking holding you back? Chances are we've inherited some ideas, some beliefs or customs, even fanciful legends or myth. Traditional thinking passes down such things from culture to culture, from generation to generation. As days go by, we in our subconscious mind are teaching our students the same old ways that we have been thinking through the past decades or even centuries. Traditional thinking, the mindset of the mainstream. Every day, our students enter our classrooms thinking that mediocrity, average, is acceptable. That nothing in life is urgent that tomorrow will be here soon enough. So relax. We will do what we cannot get done today, tomorrow. This justifies procrastination because deadlines does not consider beyond right now. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the floor, this is the typical definition of polytechnic and vocational students. And Finally, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, as educators of the future generation, feeling so disappointed of these attitude, these lack of enthusiasm among our beloved students. Day in, day out, we see no progress. We allow stereotypes to label our graduates as lazy and average. What happened to our role as teachers, as lecturers, as educators? We cannot afford this. This is our future generation we are talking about. The future engineers, the future accountants and so much more. Our creation. Yes, there have been countless ancient scholars and independent thinkers of the past. From Socrates to Plato, from Emerson to Thoreau, these people have been our role models for generations and generations. I personally have absolutely nothing against them except my overwhelming respect. They have all got something to say. But that was then. We are now. We make things happen ask you, how many times have we been told to do things the way it has always been done? Changes are not good. 
Why bother? Stick to the normal way. It's easier. Traditional thinking offers one size fits all. But as you know, not all hand-me-down clothes fit. So why are we forcing them? As an educator for this generation, I suggest we find an alternative for traditional thinking. It is our job to make progress as the world itself is making changes. We cannot keep on doing things the way it has been done for centuries. We have to ensure that people do not underestimate the polytechnic and vocational graduates. Let us, as educators, make a difference. I did a little research online a few months back and came across this concept known as design thinking. Design thinking is still being explored by many high-profile educational institutes such as Stanford University in California in the United States of America and Hasso Plattner Institute in Germany. They claim that education is not about teaching students to fill in the blank with the correct answer anymore. Education now is giving opportunities and guiding students to find the blanks and create their own solutions and then fill in the blanks. In technical terms, design thinking is a creative process. This way of thinking makes a person experiment and create, gather feedback and finally design a product, which is the main objective of polytechnic and vocational students. This is best applied in innovative subjects such as our students' final projects, usually introduced in the last semesters of almost every program offered in the polytechnic and vocational institutes. Now, let me introduce you to design thinking. Design thinking is popularized by IDEO design company and Stanford D School. It is a specific way of thinking and using design methods by non-designers. It originates about 30 years ago by Shun in the education field and Lawson in architecture and both reflect on how designers think. Designers would put their ideas in the form of sketches, models, plans and specifications. Members of the floor, design thinking relies on our ability to be intuitive to recognize patterns, to construct ideas that have emotional meaning as well as being functional and express ourselves in media other than just plain words or symbols. In simpler words, design seems to be the one on the deciding factor in purchasing smartphones, clothes, garden and even furniture. Design thinking eliminates the traditional thinking where students would have to meet and greet their supervisors and of course waiting to the last minutes to complete these given tasks. This limits their creativity. So the four steps of design thinking. The first one is sense and sensibility. The second one is empathy or also known as gaining insights. The third one is ideation. And finally, the fourth one is producing prototypes. Students will find themselves well organized and they will produce better quality products. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I'm not going to bore you with the concepts and elements of design thinking in detail. I will probably do that in our next session. That is, of course, if you are still interested. I'm just here today to suggest a way to replace traditional thinking. 
where we can make a difference on our out-of-date teaching methods and later we can produce a better generation of polytechnic and vocational graduates. We have the internet. We have libraries. We have the whole world at our fingertips. But if we don't know how to use all these resources, it will all still never be enough. Imagination, creativity and innovation will define us as educators for this generation. Take your time to ponder, ladies and gentlemen. I rest my case. Thank you.